so during intubation what are the um, issues that predispose or that could result in uh, your um, uh, propensity or your chances of having a complication one is the competence see if, if yes it is a pandemic situation yes it is an emergency situation but even in an emergency situation do not attempt something which you have never done in your life for the first time in such a pandemic see especially for incubating these patients your attention to infection control has to be top notch so if you are not competent enough you should be able to hold forth till a competent person does it and to acquire this competence is a crucial aspect of all these training programs once you feel that you are confident you are you are competent enough to do something you get confidence but again confidence can be double edged too never underestimate an airway until you have it achieved it and sec, uh, and demonstrated that the airway the tube is in the larynx the tube is in the trachea in addition to that you could have poor mouth opening you could have a situation where you are unable to insert the laryngoscope and situations where you are unable to see the glottis if you don't predict these problems before you sedate the patient or before even catastrophically giving neuromuscular block at the patient you could be in trouble and in deep trouble if you have paralyzed somebody and you can't open his mouth you can't ventilate the patient you lose the patient in your hands so you should be able to assess this by the routinely used the uh methods of assessment of airway which uh, i'm sure has been dealt with or will be dealt with in a separate uh, lectures in uh, subsequent lectures as we discussed before these patients are vulnerable for complications we don't know their full stomach status so most of them don't come prepared for intubation they come to the hospital in an emergency so they are not fully prepared and because of their disease process the infection the fever the mouth breathing the air hunger these patients are most often hypovolemic the intravascular volume is not enough so in these patients your attempted process of induction uh, for or preparation for intubation could result in uh, a drop in his hemodynamic status these patients are always hypoxemic the basic reason why you are intubating these patients is either because their oxygen levels are low or their carbon dioxide levels are high or both so already a vital aspect of homeostasis is deranged in these patients and as a consequence of hypovolemia hypotension tissue hypoperfusion and hypoxemia good number of these patients whom you are trying to intubate are agitated so these are all predisposing factors or contributory factors for a difficulty while intubating or complications for uh, into while intubating these patients in addition the environment see uh, you may not be working in a familiar environment for example if you are working in a hospital where additional units have been uh, created freshly for handling covid patients and you are dropped in for duty you may be working in the icu of the same hospital but you have been asked to work in a different location like a modified um, operating room or you are supposed to work to, uh, you know uh, convert an emergency room into an icu and the environment is new and you have supposed to work with new people who do not understand your protocol or your your process of intubating somebody so all these problems and absence of uh, working equipment so you don't check your laryngoscope before or you don't check the cuff of your endotracheal tube before and you try to intubate the patient so there is no light when you open the mouth so all this will result in delayed intubation or persistent hypoxemia and other complications of uh initiation of ventilation as a consequence of all this uh, for what all we discussed so far uh, you could end up with traumatizing the airway you can end up traumatizing the tongue the oral mucosa the the uh, cricoid the uh, the arytenoid the cartilages the uh, the trachea you can end up with a lot of complications and in your panic because something is not working and you panic you could end up intubating the esophagus which can be disastrous in these patients and resulting in worsening hypoxemia and if you can't correct it quickly the inevitable cardiac arrest would happen 